In his second season at the club, Thiago Motta's Bologna are doing really well in Syria. They are currently 8th in the league, just 3 points off the Champions League positions. They have only lost 2 games so far this season and conceded the 3rd least number of goals. One of the keys to the success of both Bologna and Motta so far this season has been one man who they brought in from Aberdeen for just 2 million euros last summer and whose performances they really want to keep quiet to stop him from being stolen from so-called larger European clubs in the summer. So today we're talking about Lewis Ferguson. Before I tell you more about Lewis, just a quick thanks for the support on the videos recently. I appreciate all the comments and everyone taking the time to watch the videos and hopefully you continue to enjoy them as much as I'm currently enjoying making them. But anyway, back to the football. Lewis Ferguson, who is he? Well, he's a Scottish midfielder who started at Hamilton and moved to Aberdeen in the summer of 2018 for 150 grand. He played 132 games in the Scottish Prem for Aberdeen. He scored 26 times. And his best season was his final season, which I believe was his fourth at Aberdeen, and he scored 11 in 36 games. But Aberdeen only came 10th that year, so with clubs circling, Bologna saw it as the time to, to move in for Ferguson. And Ferguson quickly became a regular starter at Bologna in Thiago Motta's first season with the club after he had, had spells with uh, Genoa and Spezia, and he took over in the uh, September of 2022. And to just show how key he currently is, Ferguson currently is, in Thiago Motta's setup, in a recent interview, when asked about Ferguson, he joked with reporters to stop writing about him so much saying, quote, let's keep him hidden with clubs like Juve circling. This might be increasingly difficult when we come to the summer, but it shows just how well Ferguson has been doing in his second full season with the club. FBRF, where I get most of the data that I use on this channel, states him as starting in, in as many as seven different positions, ranging from centre mid, defensive mid, to on both wings and even up front at some points. And that really highlights the tactical flexibility that Thiago Motta's Bologna use in their rotations, particularly across the front four, but we'll take a little bit of a deeper dive of that in a minute. First, we're going to have a little look at how Bologna have been doing this season. So as I mentioned earlier, they're currently 8th in the league. They have the 4th youngest team on average, which is massively increased by the fact that they have a 35-year-old club captain, Lorenzo Di Silvestri, who starts on the bench quite a lot, but that really does drag up the average. So Bologna have lost just twice this season, on the first game of the season to Milan, and on the most recent game of the season, in the Derby della Apennino against Fiorentina. And Bologna have only been out xg twice this season, in a 0-0 draw versus Napoli, where Bologna have created 0.2 XG and Napoli created 2.1. So realistically, they should have really lost that game, but Napoli didn't really take their chances. And second in a 1-1 draw versus Juve, where Bologna created 0.5 and Juve created 0.8. So it's really quite close there. Highlighting the fact that Bologna are creating chances, but at the same time, not allowing much XG against them. And that's shown in the fact that they have seven clean sheets so far this season and the third least goals against in the league just behind the top two, which is Juventus and Inter. But how does Lewis Ferguson fit into all of this? Well, he's played nearly every minute so far this season and is in the top percentiles in the league for distance covered. And Ferguson is kind of like a 10. It's hard to completely define what he is because of the rotations that Bologna use. He's more of a more of a role than a position in the Bologna team, which I'll kind of specify a little bit in a minute when we look at the team and how they sort of set up tactically. So Ferguson is 12th for non-penalty XG in the whole of Serie A so far this season, above the likes of Giroud, Dusan Vlavic and Rafael Liao, which really shows how important he is at both chance creation and taking the chances that Bologna are creating. And that's shown in the fact that he has three goals so far this season. He's the third top scorer at Bologna behind striker Zerxe and winger Ricardo Orsolini, who are both on four. He has the fourth most goal involvements for a midfielder in Serie A behind Giacomo Bonaventura at Fiorentina, Andrea Copani, who's at Monza, and Hakan Celanoglu, who's at Inter. Ferguson also has the most tackles in the squad and the second most touches. So that really shows how highly integral he is to both both sides of the coin, both defensive and attacking parts of how Bologna play. Uh, and they rely really heavily on his hard work, his tactical versatility and his ability to slot in a number of different areas across the pitch. But I think this quote from Thiago Motta really helps to identify how important Ferguson is in this team. And it's from a, a, an athletic piece from James Horncastle that I'll link in the description. Thiago Motta in that says, he knows what positions to take up. He's not selfish. He scores and gets into the box. He's very disciplined in the defensive side of the game. He's always looking at what his teammates are doing and adapting. He's exemplary. And from a world-class, multiple title-winning midfielder saying that about Ferguson, I mean, it has to mean something. And it really shows how important and how, how well he's been doing this Bologna team so far this season. So when we look at how Bologna set up under Thiago Motta, the best word to use is fluidity. So when we look at this 4-2-3-1, the fluidity kind of means the rotations that they're using largely between the front four, but also in that midfield midfield three with Abe, Schofroyler and Ferguson in this scenario. Now this 4-2-3-1 here is the team that started against Fiorentina. And we'll start by talking a little bit about Zergze. He is the number nine in this case, but he's often not the most advanced midfielder. And that's where we start to think about um, what I mean by rotations. He often drops deep to receive the ball. 
So say, for example, it's coming in from Calafiori here. And Ferguson, Salamakas, and Orsolini will often run off him and run him behind because Zerxi is really good at taking the ball down. He's got a very, very uh, impressive first touch. And it allows Bologna to, sometimes if they need to, play a little bit longer into him. But typically they play short passes into his feet. And he's really good at holding off defenders and turning and playing the balls through into the likes of Salamakas and Ferguson and Orsolini in particular. Uh, Zerxi and Ferguson have a really good um, chemistry, really good understanding of each other. That's shown in the fact that they have the second most assists combined together, just behind Turam and Lateral Martinez. So it shows how really effective they've been so far this season. So typically, Bologna will use a 4 plus 1 build up. And what does that mean? Well, it means that one of the midfield two, in this case, will use A Bishop, will drop deep, and the other one will push on to create the sort of space and the space for rotations to occur to allow the ball to progress through the midfield and through into those spaces. Bologna also sometimes build up with a 3 plus 1, which means that we'll take Abisha here, we'll drop in between the centre-backs or onto the left or the right of them, meaning that the full-backs will push on and the other midfielder will drop in here to create this midfield three here and allowing the progression of other players further up the pitch. And when we talk about rotations, this is where it sort of happens. So for, say, for example, Remo Froehler was to move into this area to drag his marker away, so we'll take number eight here to follow with him. And say Lewis Ferguson is in this sort of 10 zone where he normally is, if he drops into this space... Six will have to come with him and he can receive the ball to feet and then progress the ball up the pitch that Bologna typically like to do. So it means that these players aren't playing specifically in positions. It means that they're playing roles to, to collect the ball and move the ball forwards quite quickly typically. Um, but it shows how that midfield and how the front four kind of moves about and interchanges to create space for them to move the ball forward up the pitch. And Lewis Ferguson is a really important part of this. He's constantly looking to receive the ball quickly and either move the ball on forwards or turn and drive forwards. And he will typically always move to create that front four and to create a lot of bodies in the box which Bologna like to do to get their front four and a midfield runner in in the box to, to create chances and this is what I mean when I say that Bologna like to commit to their attacks so you can see here we're in the 80th minute against Inter in the match that they drew 2-2 but you can see how they're committing and getting players into the box so you've got Salamakas there and you've got one two three four players in the box Lewis Ferguson arriving late on the edge trying to make that run into the box and that's typically what Bologna like to do like to, to transition quite quickly and to get players into the box to create those chances. Now you can see here that Bologna are on the transition and as I said earlier, Zagze likes to drop a lot deeper than a typical number nine does. You can see he's filling out quite a large space in the midfield. Lewis Ferguson is here, number 19, and he's pressed that, that back line quite a long way back to create this space in between them for Zagze to operate in. And now as you, as you can see, Lewis Ferguson is pointing to Salamakas here who's carrying the ball. He's pointing that the ball should go back into Zerxe in that pocket so he can drive forward and try and create something. And the ball does move into Zerxe who picks up the ball in that space that Ferguson has created and he draws in the defender from Lazio into this space. Ferguson spots this, turns off the back of him and makes a run in behind. Zerxe finds him and Ferguson slots the ball away into the back of the net. Now what does this show? Well it shows the understanding of positioning between the front four and they're not sort of hamstrung to specific positions and they have that rotational fluidity between them and the intricate play between them and the understanding of where each other are to create goals on the transition really quite effectively. What does that show about Lewis Ferguson and how he performs in this Bologna team? Well, it really highlights his understanding of the rotational fluidity that Bologna use and Thiago Motta likes to use in his team and how they function. It also really highlights his understanding of the positioning of his other players in those roles and how he can create space for them and how sort of tactically intelligent he is with regards to that. And it also shows how important Ferguson's movement is to the creation of those chances that Bologna do take. You, you saw in that last screenshot that this, the space was also created for Rossellini on the right-hand side. And that is another key trait that Ferguson has. His runs create space for both Zerxe and Rossellini and sometimes Salamakas as well, not just to, to, you know, to, to receive the ball. He, he's really aware of the space he's creating with his runs. And now that is a really important part of how he plays, but he's also really good with the ball at his feet and really aware how his teammates runs themselves. And that's shown here in Bologna's second goal in their 2-2 draw against Inter. And now the ball has just been turned over. Calafiori, Bologna's left centre-back, has just won the ball and it is uh, bouncing down here towards Lewis Ferguson, who takes a quick look up to his right. I don't know whether you can see that. The picture's not great, but he takes a quick glance to his right and can see Zerxe here, his goal side of his man. So he probably he knows that Zerxe is probably going to make that run in behind. And he looks up and you can see that Zerxe is already starting to go and he looks up and he makes that pass. Makes that pass pretty much first time straight over and in behind into Zerxe. Now Zerxe receives that ball and takes it down really nicely. And you can see what I mean with the, the runners that Bologna always use. You've got Orsolini on this right-hand side. And in this case, it's Dan and Doy on this left-hand side. And they're always making those, those forwards runs to create space for Zerxe and Ferguson as well. 
And now that, that really is highlighted in the second screenshot, you can see that they both pushed into the box. This is something that Ferguson will often do as well, but he's obviously created that pass. And it creates the space in between Zerkze and the and the inter defenders for him to place a shot, which he does into, into the bottom right-hand corner. But what does this show in terms of Lewis Ferguson's strengths? Well, it really highlighted his vision and his understanding of what Zerkze wants to do and how uh, Chagamata wants Bologna to play in that sort of front area. Gets the ball quickly into Zerkze and allows him to sort of uh, make the use of that transition perfectly. We saw those two runners into the box with Dan and Doy and Orsolini. Lewis Ferguson will often do that as well. But obviously, he played that ball, so he's quite a way behind the play. But making those runs, creating that space for Zerkze to, to drop back a little bit deeper and either finish really nicely, as he does tend to do, or to play off him as well, as we saw in the previous, the previous screenshots. It really highlights how well Ferguson is flexible to the change of his role and where he is on the pitch and dependent on, on, on the situation in the game and how he's able to really, really thrive in the in the tactics that Motta is using. But hopefully this all comes together to show just how important Lewis Ferguson is in this Bologna team, how vital a cog he is in how Thiago Motta wants his team to play. And that's really, again, highlighted why he doesn't want so much so much noise around Ferguson at the moment. Uh, there are some rumours about him potentially, potentially going to Juve and you can understand why these big teams are looking at him because he's playing really well and really you know, playing well in a system that some players might struggle in and really thriving in it. But Ferguson is currently in the, the Scotland team for the international break. He's not started too many games for Scotland, but I'd like to see him start in at least one of the games against Georgia and Norway. He will likely be uh, an important part of the Euro squad that goes to Germany in the summer. And as I link back to those rumours of potentially going to Juve or a quote-unquote bigger European club, this may well, the Euros may well be a launch pad for him to get more eyes on him. You know, everyone... Be, you know, people scout a lot at the moment, but the, the hype might build. It would be a shame to see him leave. You know, how interesting and exciting Bonya have been so far this season, as we've seen in some of the goals that they sc scored so far and the rotations that they have in that front four. They really are an exciting team to watch. And especially since Bologna are in with a chance of qualifying for European football for the first time since pre-millennium. So it has been a really positive season for Bologna and it'd be really nice to see Lewis Ferguson kind of you know, see, see the fruit of his labours this season and be playing that European football for them potentially next season. But hopefully this video has helped to kind of understand how well Ferguson is doing in Bologna at the moment and how interesting Bologna are as a team and how he's functioning really well in that squad. Um, let me know if you enjoyed the video and if there's anything you'd like to see me cover in the future, anything across European football generally. But thanks as ever for watching. Really appreciate the recent support. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully see you in another video very soon. See you later.